What's up guys, Hunter Friends here, back at it again with another video, and in this video guys, we're going to be talking about cards that you should buy before it's too late. And of course, we're going to go ahead and start off with number 60, Dugaras the Timeless. Now, more specifically, the Quartz Hunter Secret Rare version from Rarity Collection 2, this card is only about 13-14 bucks, and if you guys remember, the OG copy was about 13-14 bucks, around that price, it might have actually been a little bit higher, and for a high rarity version of a card that's actually pretty insane, it's crazy to me how low this is. So if you guys don't know what this card does, pretty much you discard two materials from this card and you can activate one of the following effects. You can skip your next draw phase, draw two cards and discard one, skip your next main phase one, also special summon one monster from your graveyard in defense position, and of course the last one is skip the battle phase of your next turn, but you can also double the attack of one monster you control until the end of this turn. So, of course, if you want to draw more cards, go ahead. Two, summon something back that's very important from your graveyard, go ahead. Or three, double the attack on your monsters and just OTK your opponent. Now, I will say, a lot of the effects of this card are insane, but also you don't care about the downsides. Like, skip your next draw phase, you're drawing two cards, you're pretty much set up, right? Uh, again, the second effect, skip your next main phase one, it might not be a next main phase, so you don't really care about the that effect, the negative effect. And then same thing with the battle phase. There won't be a next battle phase of any turn because you're going to OCK your opponent this turn. It's great. And personally, for 13, 14 bucks, it's crazy. I think, you know, long term, this card could easily be a $25, $30 card. And I'll personally go ahead and just grab a copy now before it's too late. And a lot of cards from Ready Collection 1 and 2 are very underlooked, of course. So I would go ahead and seriously grab a single copy of this before this card goes up in price. Next up though, we do have SP Little Knight from the 25th Anniversary Tin Dueling Mirrors. And I will say that I think it's time to buy this card now because do not have access to this. It's about $44, $45. And I don't think this card is going down at, at all. So you wanna make sure you have your single copy or if you're looking to get a second copy, this is the perfect time to do so before the tins leave. And of course, you know, the prices will go up and up and up. Remember, this card used to be 120, you know, 125 plus, plus. It was crazy and it's still crazy. Don't get me wrong, paying this much for a single card, but this is the best Link 2 we currently have access in the game. And I don't see them hitting this at all. Maybe making it to like, you know, limited to one, maybe, but that's like a near distance future and probably people will be like, why? But it is what it is. It's similar to like a Runic Fountain going to two. They play it at two, so it's like, what are you talking about? Um, but anyway, though, definitely go ahead and try to purchase this card. Even if you have to just go to locals, you can maybe trade cards for it or even uh, sell cards to your locals. They sometimes do credit too. I think you can put towards a single purchase of this card. It's up to you, but there are a lot of ways, and I would really go ahead and buy this card. Next up, though, we do have Ubel, the Loving Defender Forever, the Quarter Century Secret Rare, and I kind of want to just point it out because it's about 55, 56, it's at its all time low. And if you guys don't know, the highest was about 185, while its lowest was 81. So it really, really is low right now. And of course, Ubel isn't using this card as much, like in terms of deck list, but I will say that if Phantom Ubel ever gets hit or banned, people are going back to the Loving Defender route, and this card will go up in price. So something I kind of want to point out to you guys. Plus, it's an insane super quality target. Like, can we talk about that? It's crazy. One Ubel monster, every effect monster on the field. That's crazy to me. But and also it can burn as well. Like, it does so much. It does so much. So I would go ahead and if you are a Ubel player or you foresee this, you know, becoming uh, meta relevant again at some point, go ahead and pick this card up. Next up, we do have Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, and there is support in the future, and this card slightly did go up, but you can still see they're around the uh, $2 and under $2.50 uh, price point right now, which is pretty good for Quartz into Secret Rare version of this card. It's more modern, of course, and it's still from the uh, 25th anniversary Dueling Heroes from last year. So I will say that if you don't have your copies of Galaxy um, Eyes, you can definitely go ahead and just purchase these, and you're pretty much set, of course. Uh, you could also just purchase any other version of Galaxy Eyes, but this is a nice version to have, personally, with the 25th stamp at the bottom. And then we do have uh, Eldritch the Golden Lord. Now, I kind of want to point this out because I actually saw uh, House of Champs, he pointed this out, which is really cool, that um, the fact that they were slightly going up in price. And also, I did check out that the Golden Lord, the uh, Lost Art promotion is out of stock, which is crazy. But again, this was the artwork that we wanted to see out of Eldritch, of course. I mean, we did 
you know, we do like the OG artwork, but when they, you know, reprinted it in the premium gold, we were like, ah. And then the same thing when they promoted, when they actually printed the alt art, which was really cool, but they printed it in the, um, of course, gold. And we were just like, not this one, but it's somewhere around here. And we were just like, oh man, why did they do that? Like that was, it was a terrible, terrible choice there. But anyway, the uh, Quartz Century Secret Rare versions here are slightly going up in price, like I said. And I personally would go ahead and just pick up three from the Secret Slayer set, which is kind of funny because this used to be like a 90 plus dollar card, especially during COVID. That was like at the height of COVID. It was like, at, actually at the beginning of COVID, this card was easily like actually 120 plus. So now you can get it for like three bucks each. Not a bad flex, to be honest. I'm going to have this in my binder. It's going to be like, yep, isn't that awesome? But anyway, though, if you guys are playing Outlet, definitely go ahead and just pick up three copies of a high rarity Outlet to Golden Lords. Next up, we do have Black Wing Armor Master, the Core Center Secret version. And this is very cheap. And I will say that over time, this card will go up. If you guys have ever seen any other version of Black Wing Armor Master, they are very expensive. The older versions, this card didn't get many reprints. And you know, even the premium gold, which again, people aren't a huge fan of, is still about five bucks. But everything else is just up, up, up in price. Edison format is a huge, huge reason for that, of course. So it's something that I will say that you may want to just pick up a copy if you consider, you know, you want, you like this version and you see yourself playing that or again for the collection, you know, whatever you guys want, of course, but something I just wanted to bring to your attention. And then we do have Time Tearing Morganite, a very, very broken card. If you're playing anything that includes like anti-meta, you know, anti-meta decks, um, it's crazy. There's only two copies, one from Cyberstorm Access, and then of course we have the Dueling Mirrors uh, reprint for 250. Not bad. Uh, I will say also because we did get the new one, Succumbing Song Morganite, which again fills out more uh, crazy effects. So I would actually grab this at least three copies because again, you never know when you're actually going to use something like this. Just a crazy um, card and any of your decks. And it's very cheap right now. So it's kind of like, why not just go ahead and grab it, right? Um, again, when Dueling Mirrors kind of just fades out of existence, it's going to be a little hard to grab this card, about like five, maybe six dollars. Why even go through that? Just buy, you know, three copies now and you're pretty much set. And then we do have, of course, we have X Savers. And I just wanted to bring this up only because, well, not only because, but I did go ahead and actually buy this mat. You guys can see right here. This X Savers 2010 mat, really cool for not too much. Um, but also, I do love X Savers. I used to have an X Saber deck. So now I'm trying to slowly rebuild it. But um, I would go ahead and honestly just take, take a look at the prices, especially if you're trying to build an Edison deck. It's. Um, not too crazy right now you know personally i always saw that the hyun lee i think i said that correctly uh it wasn't it used to be like way way more expensive but um it's not too bad right now i'm just gonna quickly check that out actually but um if you guys did play edison let me know down below which deck did you play but let me just check this out really quick so it actually is up this looks actually like the most expensive card really in terms of like the um extra deck monsters like XX Saber uh, Gotham's is not even that expensive compared to these. But anyway, um, this deck is not as expensive as it used to be. And it might be something that, you know, I think that it's a great start to Edison. If you are interested in playing Edison format, definitely go ahead and purchase this deck before it goes crazy, right? And then people are like, oh man, this is so expensive now. And there aren't any like modern-ish reprints too. That's something to keep in mind. So it's great how cheap this is. But um, of course, if you guys are planning to pick up cars from TGG Player, definitely go ahead and hit my affiliate link down below. Appreciate you guys, anything goes back to the channel. Now, Joel Lockbird from Rarity Collection 2, the quarter cent secret rare, the OG copy is about $22 right now. So picking up a playset for about $66 is not bad for a card that was historically really, really expensive. I think that over time, of course, this card will go up in price. Now the alt art is still a very nice card. It's a little cheaper if you guys wanna go for that. But personally, I think it's a great pick to go ahead and pick up the OG copy. Now, it does have competition with cards like the rarities like on the ulti, of course. But I think over time, this card will do well and it's worth the pickup. But of course, let me know down below what you guys think. And next up, we do have a Labyrinth, just all the Labyrinth cards because they are slowly going up again. I think people are realizing that, wait a minute, this deck is actually a really good deck. And we're going to try to give it another shot. And I feel like, you know, 
Labyrinth never had its like tier zero format and maybe it's time. We'll see what happens, of course. There are still some crazy decks out in the meta, but personally, I think it's time for Labyrinth to be at the top and see, you know, what a uh, best uh, trap deck meta looks like. <laughs> I guess everyone just meaning Harpy's Feather Duster, but uh, we'll see what happens, honestly. I think Labyrinth is still a very, very good trap deck in the meta. Next up though, last but not least, is Cosmic Quasar Dragon, the quarter century secret version from Duelist Nexus. So if you guys take a look at this, it's actually getting bought out. There's only about three copies that are under $30. And then from there, 33, 45, well, I guess really 47. And it continues to go up. And there's not that many listings left on TCG Player. I looked on eBay and they were actually like 40 plus. So this card is uh, finally, finally seeing that buyout. Um, for a long time, it used to be about like 22 bucks around that range and that was it. There were a lot of listings. But um, if you guys are looking to pick this up for your collection or possibly deck, definitely go ahead and pick it up now before it is too late because there's only nine listings. But guys, that's all I have for you for today's video, of course. If you guys like the video, make sure to give it a huge like. Comment down below your thoughts on the video. Do we miss any cards? And also, guys, definitely go ahead and check out my recent poll on my channel. Just curious to see what you guys think. What kind of content do you like seeing on the channel? Let me know, of course. And let me know in the comment section of that poll as well. Any additional information you want to let me know. Now, definitely go ahead. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn notification bell on so you're updated the next time I upload new videos. All right, guys. Hope you have a good rest of your day or night. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace.